Imagine if somebody walked out of the ocean after swimming in it and you asked them, how was your swim today? And they said, you know, it was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. I missed swimming in so much of the ocean. Now, that's crazy, right? It's crazy because the ocean is so big and because nobody could ever swim the entire ocean. I mean, it covers so much of the planet. But the reality is, is that many people have a scarcity mindset when it comes to life and business. We think that there's this little area that we can only reach. In fact, I hear it all the time. I hear people say, well, you know, what if so? What if, what if somebody else wrote a book on this topic? You know, they, they already dominate the entire space on the planet for, for this topic. And I'm thinking, are you serious? Are you serious? How many other books have been written on relationships? or diets, or leadership. I mean, once we begin to step into a scarcity mindset, it really says more about us than about the problem, than about the situation. It tells people more about where our brain is and where our thoughts are. So I wanna challenge you, what areas of your life do you have a scarcity mindset? I mean, it's a great question, right? Because I've been guilty of that before. I've been guilty of having a scarcity mindset where I think there's only a limited amount of money, a limited amount of uh, perhaps clients, a limited amount of readers, a limited amount of real estate or property, whatever. The truth is that you could go down to the ocean and get a cup full of sand and scoop that thing up and pour it out and you could not even count the amount of grains of sand in one cup on one square foot of ocean oceanfront property. Isn't that crazy? I mean, go down, take a cup, scoop up one cup of sand, pour it out on a glass table, and try to count the grains of sand individually, and you will not even be able to do it. It's the same thing with the stars. It's the same thing with an apple tree. Go ahead, go to your nearest apple tree and look about how many seeds and how many orchards are in those one single apple tree. It's mind blowing. So if the stars are endless, the sand is endless, the apples on planet Earth are endless, why do you think that no one will buy your book. No one will sign up for your course. No one will hire you as a speaker. I'll tell you why. It's because you're scarcity minded. It's because you absolutely think that there are limitations on planet Earth and then you see those limitations on yourself and your own context and your own business opportunity. Look, here's what I know. Whenever I see competitors out there, I actually get excited. Because I say, you know what? There's evidence, there's evidence right there that people other than me have a need for the product and service that I'm creating. Rejoice next time you see a competitor. It's actually exciting. Now listen, if somebody went and stole from you and they're copying you, I get it. Sometimes you can get a little bit fired up <laughs> because they took your intellectual property. But even then, my friend named Dan Miller uh, once found some pirated copies of his book and Dan said, great, I'm glad they're out there. My message is getting out there. I mean, totally different mindset, Dan Miller, than most people on planet Earth. Most people are like gonna prosecute the person who pirated their book and they're gonna get all bent out of shape. Do you know The Alchemist, that book? Uh, the author actually celebrated people who were pirating his book because he said at least at least the message is getting out there now listen i know most of us aren't there yet most of us aren't ready to be there yet but look do an evaluation of your life look at the areas where you speak limitations and ask yourself is that serving you is that serving your highest good to speak limitations on your future brand book or business. This is Carry Over Runner. Be a soul on fire. I'm excited that we're learning together. I'm excited that we're growing together.
in this area of scarcity versus abundance. Be a soul on fire. We'll see you.